Gary Wilson through to the semi-finals here at the Betvic to Scottish Open with a 5-3 win over Kyron Wilson. First of all, just crazy match. Just talk us through it. <laughs> I don't know what it looked like from the outside, but that was just torture. Yeah, it was... Uh... I nicked a good first for him, and that was about the only positives I could take from that. I, sh I should have, I should have took the next one, and I think I should have been three-one up, not three-one down. Um, yeah, it was just an awful game. Just, I think I brought him down. He started off quite well. I was sort of hanging on, and yeah, we just, I just sort of dragged him down a bit, and just it went scrappy, and the table drifted a little bit on a few shots, and yeah it was just it was a bit of a blur to be honest just just as usual just try to battle on and just try to get the five before the next man that's all you can do but some games are like that aren't they and it's, it's when you're winning games like that that you, you seem to progress further in tournaments i think and three one down to win four frames on the bounce after the mid-session interval to win five three you've got to be pleased with that not really i'm pleased with the result i'm not pleased with the fact of coming three one down to win five three or any of that because it was it was rubbish it was just rubbish. Um, so to, act, to actually string four frames together somehow is very surprising, but obviously I'll, I'll take it massively, you know, it's a great result. Um, nothing really to lose, don't really feel like I'm playing decent. So yeah, here we go again. We're in sort of the latter stages of a tournament and struggling again. Kind of just going to relax in my semi-final and just try and play a bit of snook out that I can enjoy and just, just throw me arm at a few, you know, not sort of, not sort of chucking you know, chucking it away as such, or playing the wrong shots, but I'm just going to try and chill out as much as I can. I think sometimes I can try a bit too hard and I've played even worse, so um, yeah, just happy to get through. Fantastic. We saw you and Karen chatting at the end, mm. at the end of the match. What were we talking about? Because you seemed to be, you seemed quite jovial. Um, he was just saying, well, to be honest, he was quite serious. He, he said, he was saying he, he just thought my attitude was, was terrible when I left the red over the pocket and I'd, I had a bit of a joke, I said, to the crowd. It wasn't meaning anything towards him or anything. And just, he said at the interval, I could hear you banging about. And, um, you know, he just, he says it's not really the right way to go on. And I said, well, I'm sorry if that affected you. Um, I didn't obviously mean anything like that. I'm, obviously, I'm allowed to release a bit of steam in the interval if I want to, the emotions get the better of a wall at times. Um, but I didn't certainly mean anything towards him about it. I think he just felt a little bit, felt a little bit annoyed for whatever reason. And as I say, I was just joking with the crowd with the red over the hole, just go, go on, a bit closer. So I could have kind of leave it a bit nicer for you, just right over the pocket. You know, because he'd, he'd said re-rack a couple of shots ago, just trying to make it a bit more lighthearted because the game was really dragging on towards the end, yeah. That's fair enough. This is your first semi-final since last year's British Open, which you got to the final of. Uh, have you seen this coming? No, absolutely not. I've been, I've had no real form. I've been about the same as I've been for quite a while in practice. Decent, scoring heavy, still lacking shots, lacking in action properly. But no, I don't see any good results coming at the moment. My form's just not really there. Um, best I've played, obviously, was against Ronnie earlier on in the week. And still didn't feel great, but it held together for most of the match and managed to get through that one. So, yeah, I'm just taking every result as it comes and no expectations, no sort of excitement or, or no sort of trying to feel low because you're in the semi-final at the end of the day. So, you just, it's all a bonus. You just got to take what comes now. And it's Tep Chiron New in tomorrow afternoon's semi-final. Um, he may be from Thailand, but he, of course, is based in the northeast, the same as you. So, we've got a northeast derby here in Edinburgh tomorrow. Kind of, yeah. He's at a queue house in Darlington. Um, so, I travel down from my club, northeast snooker centre, um, and go and practice with him. So, so I've had a few practice sessions with likes of him and, and you long down there. So yeah, we, we know each other quite well. He, he comes up to Newcastle and has food and stuff as well. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be an interesting game. Um, he likes to throw his arm at a few. I'll maybe throw my arm at a few. Um, so yeah, just, just see what happens. I just want to say thanks to my sponsor, BM Steel. Um, they've come on board this season as well. So I just want to say a massive thanks to them. Fantastic. Well, all the best for tomorrow, Gary. Cheers very much. Cheers, thank, thank you. you.